Hello guys, welcome back to another Android application development tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about how to add an app action on the toolbar. Suppose we have three activity, main activity, activity A and activity B. From main activity, user comes to activity A. From activity A, user comes to activity B. So now user in activity B. So if the user want to go to home page, the user need to click the buy button two times. Then only he can reach the home page. If the number of activities increases, then definitely it will, it will affect the overall user experience of your application. So it's a good idea to place a home button on the up bar to reach the main activity. So by enab enabling the up action, you can easily uh, reach the home page by a single tap. So that is we are going to learn in this video. So in this application we have three activities, main activity that contain a button. This button is for starting activity A. We have another two activities, activity A and activity B. In activity A, uh, we have another button for starting activity B. In activity B, we have just a text view. Okay. So from main activity, we need to go to activity A. So go to main activity. So we can add a click events. So go to main activity, create a click events. So create a method for handle the click events of the button. Open activity A. So this method need one parameter that is an object of view class. Okay. So from this method we have to go to activity A. So start activity. So you can write it in a single statement. Start activity. New intent. And we have to start activity A. Now go to the main activity layout file, select the button and select the on click attribute for the button. So now select the method open activity A. Okay. So now go back to activity B from activity sorry from activity A we have to go to activity B. So here also we need a method open activity B. Sorry for that. And also we need some new class subject. So from here we can start activity B. Activity B dot class. Okay. Now go to the layout of activity A, select the button, change the on click attribute, on click attribute and open activity B. Okay. So now we can run the project. So from main activity user can go to activity A. From activity A, you so can go to activity B. Yeah, one more thing we need to add the action bar. We need to add the toolbar for activity A and activity B. That is another thing. So now we can close all these things, uh, open layout for activity A. So here we need to add the toolbar, select the blueprint. Yeah, from Palette, select containers, select the toolbar, yeah, place it here, okay, and change the layout width into match constraint. Now, what are the constraints on left, right side, left side, and top? Okay, so now select the toolbar and change the ID. This is the ID. I change into toolbar. 
this is for activity A, so, so toolbar A. Okay, so we also we need to change the theme also. Select toolbar and search for theme. Uh, search a dark theme. Okay, so now change into design. Yeah, it's good, fine. Now we need to add a toolbar on the activity B also. So here I place a toolbar in activity A with ID toolbar A, and here I place a toolbar on activity B with ID toolbar B. Okay. So now we can add the two toolbars as supported action bar for activity A and activity B. So open activity A. In the on create method, first create variables for toolbar. Uh, using find the view by id method it is toolbar a now set supported action bar support action bar into toolbar okay so the same thing in activity b also so open activity b yes activity b here it is toolbar b yeah and there is a minor spelling mistake yeah it's toolbar b okay so now we can test the project so i run the project now open activity a we have a toolbar now start activity B that also contain a toolbar okay so now user comes into activity B now the user needs to go to the home page or the main activity so the user need to click the back button twice to reach the home activity that is not a good thing so we have to add some home button on the application bar so the so the user can easily come to the home page in a single click so we have to add an app action on the toolbar so the first thing we need to add some parent activity attribute in the manifest file for activity a and activity b so open manifest file open android manifest.xml here it is activity b so within the activity tag you need to add one more attribute android parent activity name so here the parent activity is main activity so the parent activity name attribute is available from android version 4.1 and above so in order to get support from android version 4. Point, lower than 4.1 you need to add some metadata attribute So within the activity tag for getting support from Android version lower than 4.1, you need to place some metadata attribute. So here uh, in the value section, you have to specify the parent activity name. So the same thing we have to done for you have to do for activity A also. So here also we have to specify the parent activity name. This main activity you have to add the metadata for that one also. Okay. Now we need to add a home button on the toolbar of activity A and activity B. So it's very easy. So first we have to get the supported action bar from the activity. So create some variables for action bar. Uh, call the method get support action bar now by using that object you have to call a method called uh, set display home as sub enabled and pass true for this 
So, we have to do this for activity B also and do the same thing for activity B also. Okay. So, now run the project. I go to activity A. So, now here at the top you can see a arrow icon is available here. So, by simply clicking that one the user can move to the home page or the main activity. Now, I go to activity B. From here I can directly come back to the home page or main activity. So, this is how we enable up action on the application bar or toolbar. I hope you understand the concept. For getting more Android tutorial updates, please subscribe this channel now. Thank you for watching.